So let's take a look at our AutoCAD. We're going to start with our template and we'll work in the model space. Now in terms of basic drawing setup, okay, the only thing I'm going to say about this is since we're going to be using the layout, I really don't have any need for the limits, but I do want to pay attention to where my origin's at. So if I turn off my grid here, and let's switch back and forth uh, between our drawing, what you'll see here is we've got the dimensions here to create this profile. And let's just decide for now that we're going to use the bottom left-hand corner here as our center point with the origin, okay? So, if we take a look at our navigation wheel, you'll notice that we can navigate fairly easily with the navigation wheel. We can see with our UCS the orientation of our grid, okay? And if we wanted to first work in the uh, front view or the front profile, it'll be important to go ahead and switch to the front UCS. Now right now I have my 2D annotation and drafting uh, workspace, but here's what you should do. Go ahead and use the workspaces and switch over to the 3D modeling workspace. All right, and let's continue working in the model. Okay, now if we take a look at view, uh, the view tab here, you'll see the view panel. So here's a drop down selection of all your views. As well, you can see here with your coordinates, you can use three point UCS to create your own UCSs. Uh, you're going to look at visual styles, so you can switch between 2D wireframe and any of the other 3D uh, shaded settings. But another thing is, I like to use the navigation wheel so that I can easily have access to my uh, either predefined or user-created UCSs. Okay, and one way we could switch between the UCS as as we start with our um, front profile view. Okay is we'll go ahead and switch to one of the standard views okay so if I switch here to the front view automatically it switches the UCS now I'll be able to switch to an isometric view without changing that UCS okay this allows me to see both the left and right faces as well as the top okay so as we continue though I'll be able to use absolute, relative, and combination of coordinate entry methods as I continue. What we're going to pay attention here to is this profile. So you can use a little bit of math uh, to lay it out. 